Well, as COVID-19 cases continue to surge, the governor says Utahns need to change their behaviors to avoid our hospitals hitting a crisis point. Our key referral hospitals continue to report higher occupancy and a high strain on their health care providers. COVID-19 cases continue to surge across the state, putting strain on Utah's health care system. We've said to the people of Utah, one of the things we must avoid is the overwhelming of our hospital and our medical system. And we know that the consequences of that are dire if we, in fact, allow that to happen. With every day of new cases, about 5% of those wind up hospitalized and hospitals are close to filling up. If it expands in the next uh, 7 to 10 days uh, by the amount of, of spread proportionally, then we could well be up against um, maxing out our system. What it means is hospitals statewide could run out of bed space. There's staffing shortages and mandatory overtime. They may start triaging who gets care and people who need help for things like heart attacks, car accidents, even surgeries may have to wait. This impacts patient care. Uh, patients uh, may experience delays in care, whether they have COVID or not. Utah's Department of Health has now moved most of the state to the highest level of risk and the most restrictions. Face masks are mandated in all counties labeled high, and people are told to limit their gatherings among family and friends to less than 10 people. The governor acknowledged enforcement remains an issue. We'll be working with our local government officials and the local health departments to see if, in fact, they can step up that enforcement mechanism. The state says those casual social gatherings are driving the spread of the virus right now, but people can change personal behaviors to avoid hitting a crisis point. We cannot continue to argue about masking. We cannot continue to argue about whether this pandemic is real or made up. And we cannot continue to argue that health care will do just fine regardless of the demand. That is not true. Now today, one county was allowed to move from a mask mandate to a mask recommendation and allow gatherings up to 25 or fewer people. That is Iron County. But if cases climb there, they will move back to tighter restrictions with the rest of the state. Live on the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.